Hey, it's been a bit, but the updates at 2 a.m. are always the best. Um, so I made a lot of progress uh, since I last updated you all. Um, we have outputs now. Um, so, for example, I'll add a left stick angle of zero for uh, degrees for W, uh, and it's now outputting properly. I mean, this is still like very much the bug raw data that it won't shouldn't be displayed or shown like this. It'll be a little nicer showing the angle and like the stick distance rather than XY values um, but uh, that works I've also gotten um, this feature um, previously I showed this off where it was showing it was changing like this internally it was not actually saving or even looking at that value though which was not good um, but now it is so I can set like W and D to you know a 45 degree angle and boom you can see that it actually is now saving this value and I'll uh, prove that in just a second before I show this. Um, I've got sorting fixed and figured out so um, left stick uh, will sort um, you know single keys go first um, so like the really basic stuff is going to be towards the top and then it just goes by how many keys you have in your uh, combination um, so if we do like W and A I can also do like a single sided thing. So let's say if they do W and A, they actually want like a 345 degree angle. I don't know. Just as an example, you can see we're saving that properly and internally using that rather than just for show. Um, uh, you can do it like with four different things if you wanted to, right? Maybe we, we do one of these and we're doing it for buttons. And if you hit them in these, one of these orders, you get the Y button and hey, you know, there you go. You hit all these, you'll get button Y. Um, right stick is also working. You know, let's drop that to 360. Oops, 360 uh, is supposed to equal zero. Sorry, um, we'll just go with 240, that'll work. Um, a few bugs here and there that I need to take a look at, but um, it's coming along. I've got to add uh, a deletion option as well on top of each row so that you'll be able to undo any errors. Um, there's some validation logic too that I kind of wanted to put in to make sure that like you don't accidentally try and bind one too many things to uh, a single key in which case the hardware would throw an error and I'd rather you not have to see the error there. I'd rather you get a, an alert or something on the web before then. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I'm getting close-ish to getting this in a state where it could be used um, by an end user to at least build their config. Um, the next part after finishing this again is actually uh, writing the code to transfer that over to the adapter. Um, so that is what I'm working on next. So wish me luck.